In this video, we're going to go through the Onslaught Challenge, one of the final six challenges in God of War Ragnarok. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to crush God of War Ragnarok. This is one of the final six challenges. The first time you do it, you're going to get 40,000 hack silver and a lot of other crafting materials. And then the if you do it after you've completed all final six challenges, on balance mode, you'll get... Uh, 200,000 hack silver plus the the resources and XP. So it's a tremendous XP and hack silver farm. So blazing embers, smoldering embers, glowing embers, divine ashes, and a thousand XP for Kratos and his companion. Uh, so this is a I like this challenge because it's a time challenge, and so it. You might confuse it with the Rings of Fire because you are in a ring and there's fire around the ring. You can go outside the ring, but you uh, are going to get burned. Uh, but, you know, it is a time challenge, so it's only five minutes long, 300 seconds. The whole key to the challenge is not to kill everybody, but to stay alive. So uh, you probably want to wear a tanky armor set if you can do that, one that is a lot of defense. Um, I... I think I wore a cooldown armor set with this, uh, but you know maybe I put some of the the Muspelheim armor sets. But I was mostly focused on cooldown, just because that's been the build I've been playing with. But I don't think that's the optimal build for this particular armor set. And you'll also get uh, you'll get uh, I think a piece of armor uh, doing the final six challenges. I think for the final six, you get like the, the Studer set and then you get the Muspelheim set or something for the first six challenges. So you need to do the challenges in a particular order. And so Onslaught is NR. So the N arena is the North arena. Uh, that or The N is the middle and the R is the, the South arena. So the middle and South in that order you do so first thing I'm just trying to take out these guys before they get in the ring uh, I'm using because they're if they're not super good then I'm not using the so this dark elf just taking him out quickly with the spear spears got a nice rage gotta watch out for these guys they will jump on you pretty quickly these jumping athletic blue dudes so this would be like a good time to use some of my runics because they're starting to overwhelm me. Uh, so this is the relic. No, that's the runic uh, with the spear. And now we're using the relics to... You want to make sure you don't go outside the circle because you're going to take a lot of damage that way. We're trying to just... Uh, it's all about staying alive, taking as little damage as possible. So we're... Because this is we're using the cooldown build, then we're going to be switching our runics uh, to, to spam them. But you got to watch out; they're going to come from all directions on you. So here you go. We lay down uh, the Mists of Helheim, which is a heavy runic, and uh, to go after these dark elves. So it looks like somebody's bombing me from outside that's doing some damage. So we would hopefully want to take care of him, but he's a far away, so we need uh, a ranged weapon. Uh, yeah, those guys are really annoying. They would come from, like, all different directions, and you'd, they, you'd take out one, and then you'd need to uh, take out more. So you can level up your... Uh, you can level up your labors doing this. The only thing is that you must complete it without dying. Otherwise, you, all your labor progression is lost. So, so yeah, they get those stupid cheap shots. So, the the big easy button for this is to uh, take out the ogre quickly, right? And that is enough to get the R3 and then ride the ogre and use him to hit the the people in the circle. Now, you just want to make sure that you don't go outside of the the circle too much because uh, he'll drop you outside of the circle and then just keep him alive um, is probably the way to go we're almost no health here we're gonna have to use our health stone um, just keep him alive and hopefully you can kill those like big dudes uh, with the ogre 
So the ogre took us out there, but we were almost dead there. And so if we can take down the ogre's health again, then we can um, ride him hopefully one more time and he'll take care of the wyvern for us. So there's another ogre uh, that you can only like ride him once uh, on a different challenge. I think that's the endurance challenge. This is the onslaught. Uh, but yeah, he could use him to take out the wyvern. If we can find the wyvern here. Oh, we didn't do it. Okay, well. And we probably, he doesn't have enough health for us to take him out anymore. Um, so we're gonna just try to take out both of them now. You, you can only really ride him twice. Yeah, those cheap shots from the side, and then, um, so we're trying to, yeah, don't, don't want, it's really risky if those, the wyvern picks you up and throws you in the lava, uh, then, then you're really in trouble, uh, if, if you die during that, because then you've got, uh, then you'll, that's an auto death regardless of whether you have a health stone. Uh, so we are... We're at the very edge here. Really can't get hit again. Uh, but thankfully that got the wyvern there. We just don't want to go into the... Uh, we didn't want to do the R3 in outside. So we did lay down the Missa Helheim there. So we had an area effect to get rid of those guys. Oh, there we go. We got a little bit of a health there. So we got some health... So there are some health uh, drops in this, so you can take advantage of those. And, oh, he's got a big, big uh, Bifrost Einar Yard, dude. So, yeah, he got me there. Oh, no. got almost no... Oh, we... They took us down to almost no health there. So just we're just on the edge here, basically. We just need to survive. Um, so... You're getting down to the end. Just survive, right? It looks like the wyvern's still lurking, too. So there you go. We were just rolling out, just trying to survive that last 10 seconds because we were on the edge. So that's what you can do, just a really defensive strategy. Preferably, you're going to have a more tanky armor set. I was looking at the defense stats for this armor set and comparing it to others because this was like at level 9 for the shoulders. Uh and it just well, it didn't make sense to switch. But if you've like upgraded uh, Lunda's set all the way or something, or Steinburn's set, this pr those or the, you can't level up, uh, you can't, without going to Vanaheim for the second time in the main story, you can't totally level up these sets to level nine, except for the shoulder straps for the, uh, for this, this basic set that I got, the, the spiritual cooldown set. Uh, that's at level 9, but it, you can't, for most of the other ones, you can only maybe get to level 7. I guess the spiritual were level 8 here, but they were a, a good level above what we had then. And uh, We also were kind of slow on cash at that point, because you, you you get enough to up do those upgrades, like one upgrade each time you get one of these, but not enough to uh, do anything. I recommend the token of elemental evasion, uh, that is probably pretty good for these challenges. Uh, the other parts of the build I don't think are necessarily worth repeating. You know, they're okay, but uh, it depends on your play style. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to crush God of War Ragnarok. Check out our other videos about how to do the first six trials and how to do this trial. And our video about how to farm Muspelheim, which explains the whole... Uh, lettering system that to to dial up these different trials in the center arena. Bye bye.